to that story about the illegal dump in West Wicklow and the bill which Wicklow County Council facing estimated that it could be up to 100 million euro. Uh, I'm joined in studio here by independent councillor Tom Fortune. Morning, Tom. Morning, Garrett. How are um, you? Th- this is a very serious situation for the council. Oh, absolutely. This is this is this is off the scale. It's really uh, very very serious. Um, it, it needs urgent attention because it has so many implications, in my opinion. See, the council's not just facing this, you know, clean-up bill, but there's the possibility of legal costs, depending on, on how the case finishes and so on, um, and it's a substantial amount of money. Absolutely, because the clean-up bill now it seems to be that it's going to be much, much larger than it originally anticipated, because there's something like a million tonnes of soil that will be contaminated, so the original figure that was being tossed around uh, was 35 million. But based on the information that's come out of the case now, that um, you could be talking about 70 million, 100 million, who knows? And this is very, very serious. Uh, This emerged last Friday when the High Court made this ruling. Um, Has the Council even been meeting since? Well, I I wrote to them. uh, I was was away on vacation and when I came back I just read all about this. So I wrote to them yesterday uh, asking them had they met and my understanding is they haven't. And uh, I find that astounding. I'll tell you why. If that was a, if Wicklow County Council was a private enterprise, and bear in mind Wicklow County Council is a very big organisation and will be comparable to any big enterprise in the country. Uh, and yeah, a lot of services, yeah, big budgets. And are part of a bigger organisation. So I would have thought if that was a private enterprise, you would have had somebody uh, from a senior level of, of, of the board, of the, of the parent organisation uh, in Wicklow yesterday morning asking questions and uh, talking about the consequences. Uh, and that doesn't seem to happen. And I just, I, I just continue, Gareth, to be astounded with that type of, a, a, of approach. Now, I've written to the, to the county manager, I've written to the, to, to the uh, chairman of the council, and the chairman of the council actually mailed me this morning to say that uh, he, he thanked me for the mail and said that, yeah, he's actually organising a meeting to discuss the matters. We um, had a, a statement from the council. They said they've ha- not had an opportunity to study this lengthy and technical judgment with our legal team. Therefore, the council is not in a position to comment on the matter at this time. In fairness to them, it's a very lengthy judgment. I believe it's 89... It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't accept that. Um, they're, a prof- they're a professional organisation. They have a legal department down there. They have access to legal people. Uh, I'm sure their, their legal representatives have read through the documents. So I just think that's, a, a, that's just a, a deflection. I, I just don't accept that and I would call on them to comment on it properly. At the end of the day, uh, it's my responsibility as a public representative to talk on behalf of the, the people of Wicklow and the people who elect me and who I speak for. And I think it is behold, beholden on Wicklow County Council to come out and, disc- and, and, and make the point. The judge has made a very clear decision. It's a, it's a matter of public record. So to be fobbing around now, they've been very quick in recent times to be lashing out press releases on all kinds of issues and suddenly now when there's a really issue that has a serious implication uh, for the county the question you have to ask is is the cost of this who's going to pay for it and even if even if the t- the government pays for it which is the t- which is the taxpayer at the end of the day that has implications if that happens that way because that will mean then that the funding that goes into weekly county council will get hit because of that get impacted so this has massive 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 implications and it's it's so serious that there should be a meeting Called called today tomorrow. That's how serious it is. And I know I, I, w- I would have I would have faith in in the in the county chair that he will do that. You, uh, so you're looking for an emergency meeting. I, I'm, I'm looking. I'm not. See the under understanding orders in the council. You can call it what they call a special meeting. Uh, my position on this now is this is beyond this. Type. This is a, this is an um, an urgent emergency. My God is. The, the amount of money that potentially that's involved in it. So we have to have a proper meeting. And I, I don't mind saying this on, on the air either. I mean, I'm saying in my email to them yesterday that I don't want what I classify, what I, a term I invented in the council, that the inner sanctum down there doesn't try and stifle it. And what I mean by that is, you and I could have a conversation here this morning and we could say there's an urgent item needs to be discussed. And I could say to you, yeah, it's been discussed next Monday. But I, I can, up to now, I could tell you the vote that would happen on that day. So all that stuff has got to stop. This is, this is kind of, uh, this is a, uh, a moment in time when people have got to stand up now. And I would call on the management group in, in Wicklow County Council there are good people down there. There are very good people down there. And I would call on the management group to stand up and stop this and let's have a proper meeting, full discussion with all the implications because uh, this is very serious for the people of Wicklow. 
And, and that's the point, isn't it? This has direct implications for the taxpayer. Of course it has. Because at the end of the day, Wicklow County Council is funded by the national government. It's on, uh, the funding of the national government has been cut uh, continuously since the year 2000. Now we're here we are hit with a, with a, with a, a potential bill of 100 million. Maybe it'll be less, but it, potentially it could be that. Nobody knows. Uh, and, and we might, in fairness, know more about that later. The, the court is sitting They're today sitting today, I think, to come up with that. So, yeah, yeah. that'll be clear probably at the end of the day. Yeah. But irrespective of what the figure is, it's, it's, it's a big, big, big number. And really and truly, it's not no longer good enough to say, we'll talk to you when we're ready or we need to do this. If, if they haven't got time to read it, they should have a, be calling a special meeting themselves within the council and they should be bringing in all the legal people they've been using to chase councillors and other people over the last number of months and bring them all into the room and sit down and come up with, a, with an answer to this and tell East Coast Radio and other people what they're doing so as the public can be properly informed. The court also heard, Tom, uh, about remedial works carried out three years ago at, at the cost of nearly four million. You have questions around that too. Well, I have because it, it, the judge has, has said said in, in, in the judgment that it was a botched operation. So I'm asking, who actually authorised this? Who signed off on it? And why was this done in the manner that it was done? And, and now the court has, has, has established and proved that that was wrong. It was a waste of money almost. So where did that four million come from? And why, wh why has that been approved? Are you, are you surprised there was no meeting over the weekend on this? Yes, I am. I mean, I think this is probably the biggest issue to hit, uh, to hit Wicklow County Council, certainly in my time on it, and I'd say if in, before my time, I'd say it's, one, it's a big, one of the biggest issues to hit any local authority because it's the single biggest uh, dumping incident uh, to, to come to light to date, or maybe others. But this is the biggest one, and it's of such a significance that you would... I mean, if this, was, if this was, as I said to you, the only way I can use the analogy, if this was a, this was a business, I worked in business all my life, and if, if, a, if, if an issue like this came up uh, of this magnitude, you would, you would, ha you would ha call a meeting on a Sunday if that's what it took. Rather, see, the local authority uh, and all, the, the management end of the local authority have got to uh, get real because what they do all the time is that they deflect uh, like if you're chasing other I, I can recall things over the last four or five years you'd be chasing them you're told that they're commercially sensitive and they can't discuss them and this kind of carry on at the end of the day this is an issue for the public the public have to be informed 110%. The people employed in Wicklow County Council at management level are, are public servants to serve the community and they don't have the right, in my opinion, not to tell the public what's going on. This is a scandal of, of, of whatever proportion you want to describe. So do you feel then there are broader implications here for the council and the way they run their business? Yes, I do. I actually do. And I think, I think in, in actual fact, uh, I think the department has, 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 has to answer things here as well. Because, and again, uh, you're like, God, my God, Gareth, the, it's, 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 the way money is wasted is surreal. Uh, really what I think, I haven't, haven't considered what's been going on in this kind of situation we're discussing this morning, there's the need for a real uh, heavy uh, ability person, I believe, to be uh, in charge of local authorities. So is that they, they, if when things go, are going offside, that someone can come in and sit down with a county manager or chief executives, as they call them now, and say, what the hell's going on here? The problem, Garrett, is that the county managers association is probably the biggest, uh, strongest uh, uh, committee or organisation in this country. And who are they, I mean, who did they report to? Their boss is the minister for the environment. Obviously, he can't do it on a day-to-day -day basis. So, obviously, there's a civil servant interacting with them. I mean, I, I believe that, that that system is out of control. They can do what they like. They can spend what money they like. And I mean, in, there's headlines in, in, in the papers from last week's week, uh, county council meeting on legal costs. I mean, it's just, it's out of control. And someone has to say stop. And I'm saying to Wicklow County Council now, once and for all, you've got, you've got to stop what you're doing. You cannot operate the business the way you're doing it. It is wrong. It's unfair to the people of Wicklow. And the implications of this potentially for the people of Wicklow, it has a potential effect on services. And, you know, we were all, we were going to get all kinds of services as a result of property tax and water charges. That didn't happen. What one texter here says, what a mess with the dump, uh, the number of homeless people that could be housed with the money. Uh, 
spent on the it's, it's, That's the point. And that's a very good point. I mean, there's people that, that we, we, we can't house people. I mean, I get people onto me every week, as all councillors do, and in all kinds of circumstances. And the problem is the, 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 the council are doing, uh, in the, the housing department are doing their very best. They don't have the funding, which is, this is an important point actually. The council themselves don't have the funding to deal with that problem. That's because the department has not given them proper funding. So here's, here's a situation now where you could have a bill, let's, let's say it's 70 million. So that f- funding has got to come from somewhere. If the department has to cough up, uh, that's going to have knock on implications for funding into the local authority. Uh, well, we won't in fairness know the figure. On yeah, but I, I, I'm, I'm just saying that. that. That's the figures that are out there. The council, in fairness to them, might say, council officials might say, there are a lot of legalities here, it's a very complex issue, that, you know, that they do need time to deal with this. I would say to that, bunkum. That is just deflection. It's just what they do. I would think it's a load of bunkum. I'm saying get off the pot and start treating public representatives and the public at large in Wicklow County Council or in Wick- County Wicklow with the respect they deserve. This is not acceptable in any shape or fashion and as a public representative I am not accepting it. That kind of talk is just delaying tactics. They are, they are intelligent people down there who are very well paid to do a job. I'm saying get on and do your job. Bring the legal gurus into your office down there, discuss the document and come on this show and talk about it and talk to the people of Wicklow. Okay, Tom. Um, the court sitting at 11 o'clock, the High Court sit at 11 o'clock, uh, and that case uh, up again today. Thanks for coming in. And Thanks, uh, We might hear more later on. Uh, Independent Councillor Tom Fortune there on the story of that illegal dump in West Wicklow and the potential bill being faced uh, by the council. We'll know an exact figure perhaps on that later today.